If you have a Chromebook, there's a good chance that somewhere around your house or your office, you have a mouse like, like this or, you know, something like this. And, you know, with Chromebooks working with just about any peripheral out there, you can plug it in and, and make it work and figure out what the buttons do. But there's a new setting coming that's already made its way down to the beta channel of Chrome OS in 120 right now that allows you to write in Chrome OS with no additional software needed to actually customize the buttons on your mouse. And I'd like to show it to you. So the way this all works is actually dead simple. Let me show it to you real quick. I'll grab one of the mice that I have here, or the trackpad, doesn't really matter. They're all connected. And I, I'd used a couple different mice, mice, mouses, uh, mainly because I wanted to show you, you know, it works with, you know, wireless uh, kind of normal uh, mice, but it also works with, you know, wired. This is a gaming mouse, but you know, it's a pretty standard USB wired mouse. And when you plug those in, you know, they, they work like it out of the box. They've always worked. Uh, but this new setting kind of gives you the ability to really take control of what what these peripherals do because you know Logitech has some software for Chromebooks but it's mainly just to get them paired up you don't have all the full control to really set what you want the buttons to do so now Google's kind of going in and just letting Chrome OS do that for you so once you open your settings here we're gonna go to uh, device or connected devices I'm sorry to mouse and you can see already since these two are connected you see this e-signal USB gaming mouse and you see the Logitech MX Master 3, which is this mouse here. And now that we're in beta and we have a flag turned on, I'm gonna show you that flag here in just a second. You can see customize mouse buttons uh, is a thing here. So before we actually go into messing with those, uh, let me show you the flag real quick. Uh, it's pretty simple to get to. I've got some windows open just so I can show you some things here in a minute. But if you go to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, that is what it is for now. You may be watching this at a time in the next few months where they have split Chrome, uh, the browser from Chrome, the OS. And at that point, for something like this, you would need to go to OS colon forward slash forward slash flags. But for the time being, unless you have turned on lacrosse, Chrome forward slash forward slash flags works. And you can see right here at the top uh, that the flag I have turned on, the only one I've got turned on right now is enable peripheral customization. It does exactly what you would think it does, lets you change those buttons. So if you enable that, uh, just like here, so if I hit enable, you see the restart button come up at the top, or at the bottom, I'm sorry. Um, you click that restart button, Chrome restarts real quick, and then you'd be up and running. Once you are at that point, we'll go back to our settings here. And um, let me show you first, uh, we'll do the Logitech. So I'm gonna scroll down here and go to customize buttons. And there's nothing there, right? Um, nothing, nothing to choose from. So it's like, well, what do you do? Click additional buttons. You literally just click the buttons on the mouse and they'll start showing up. So I'm gonna do, I don't really wanna mess with left and right click. Those are pretty primary, those are set. But you know, I don't use the middle click on my scroll wheel too often. So I'm gonna click it, boom, shows up. Um, this, this mouse particularly has two uh, little buttons here and here uh, that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna click both of those. So now they're there. And it does have this button down here at the bottom, but it doesn't seem like that one wants to register. So I don't know if that's a Logitech, like a firmware thing with Logitech. Maybe they don't have that as a mappable button. Uh, additionally, like there's a button up here that changes your scroll, scroll wheel from a clicky to a smooth. Like that one's not gonna be mappable either because that is firmware based uh, for this mouse. So now I'm gonna go in here and say, okay, middle button. I like the idea of, uh, let's do an overview. So I'm gonna do overview for that one button one, I think. So if I click the button again, you can see where it highlights the one I'm clicking. So I know what I'm doing here. Uh, button one, um, I'm going to make that um, dictation. And then button two, let's do a uh, new magnifier. Why not? Okay. So I'm going to minimize this. So now we're going to go to overview. So I'm going to click the middle of the mouse button here. Boom. Overview. So if I'm scrolling, scrolling, boom, I'm going to go here, scrolling, scrolling, overview again. That's really, really, really handy. And it's one of those things like with a normal mouse that irks me a little bit uh, when I'm using a mouse because when I'm using my trackpad, I always have access to overview really quickly. Don't have it on mice anymore or don't, didn't used to, not a problem anymore. I can just map it to one of my buttons that I don't use that often and I've got overview settled uh, and fixed up. Button one, I think, did I set that to dictation? Yes, so let me go into, I'll just click right here. Um, is this dictation working? Look at there, it works. And dictation on Chromebooks, if you didn't know, has gotten really, really good. It actually shows you a preview of the text. And when you stop talking, it pops it in there. It does all your 
um, uh, punctuation, period. I wanted to see if this works, exclamation point. Boom. Really cool, uh, really easy way to uh, just voice to text anywhere you want to on your Chromebook. And now you can map it right there to your mouse. I'm forgetting, oh, I did magnifier. So boom, full screen magnifier. Yes, I want to do that. And you can see my magnifier's on, magnifier's off. So if you like magnifying things, whatever. On this other mouse, I just wanted to show you, it's literally the exact same thing. Um, nothing's different here with the settings. Again, we're gonna go to connected devices. We're gonna go to mouse and then I'm gonna scroll down here to the e-signal, whatever this thing's called. And I've clicked these buttons prior. There's no way to de like delete them uh, once you've done this, I guess, other than a power wash. And as you can see, if I unhook this mouse, it goes away, obviously. But I'm gonna plug it right back in. It's gonna see it and my customized buttons stay. So you don't have to worry about like this being a one-time thing. And so let's set, uh, I'm gonna show you, since we showed you all the other stuff already, key combination for this one. So now this makes this kind of limitless. Like there's what, 15 things in that list uh, that you can choose from there. But now you can do a key combination. So what's a key combo I do all the time? Ooh, um, so we'll do uh, the search or everything button and V. So I'm gonna hit those. I'm gonna save that one there. So that's button one. Uh, button two, I do uh, control shift R all the time to kind of basically you're reloading a web page without uh, without leveraging cache. Um, oops, not what I wanted to do. I just I just reloaded that. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Save. Okay, now let's try these. So first button is uh, multi-paste. So I probably need to copy some stuff, right? So we'll copy that, copy that, copy that, and copy this. And then I'm gonna go here, multi-paste. Oop, nope, that's button one. Sorry, got them backwards. So I said button two. So anywhere, like I use multi-paste all the time. So I'm like, maybe I'm gonna map it to this. Maybe I'm gonna go to buy a mouse with like eight buttons on it is what I might be heading to do. Uh, so yeah, so multi-paste works right there. And then let me open up, uh, here we go, Chrome Unboxed. And so we're scrolling. I wanna refresh the page with no cache, hit my button. Boom, page refreshes, no cache. And you can see all those images having to load back in again. My point is, if there's any keyboard combination, anything that you would do with a keyboard combination, you, it could be the desk switching button, whatever. I mean, there's all kinds of things. Like you could set these forward back buttons to be flying you through desks if you want to. I mean, the possibilities feel almost limitless with this. And so this is a really awesome feature. It's a really cool thing for you to be able to do without having to go download software. I don't I don't know who makes this mouse. All key makes this mouse. Um, I don't want to go find their server and our server to go find their website and find their software and then install their drivers. I don't have to do any of those things. I can plug this thing into my Chromebook. I can tell it what, what I want these keys to do and be off and running. And that is a really awesome thing that hopefully, uh, hopefully won't be behind a flag in 120. It might still be behind the flag there, but uh, hopefully it'll just be part of the OS uh, in the coming, you know, one or two versions of Chrome OS. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.